Hi, I'm Ryan Levine with Utah Working Capital, and now I'd like to talk about accounting for investments. A company will typically make three types of investments that need to be accounted for. The first one is cash and cash equivalents. This will typically include all of the, the basic uh, checking and savings accounts um, that a company might have to, to handle all of its operations. It might also include uh, liquid assets such as money market accounts or uh, short-term investments uh, that, that become liquid within uh, one week to one month's time period. All of these investments should be accounted for uh, within the cash and the cash equivalents uh, classification. The second type of investment is short-term investments. These investments are those that uh, become liquid within one year but are not readily available to a company. Um, some examples might be uh, some, some six-month or possibly nine-month uh, bonds uh, or um, investments that a company makes that will be readily available in the near future but still possibly a few months out. The third type of investment um, is long-term investments and this is going to include investments uh, that will not mature for a year out. Um, these can include investments in other companies that have time restrictions on it um, as well as certain uh, bonds or stocks um, that don't mature uh, for, for 12 months or, or greater um, so that analysts can understand that even though you have this investment, it, it's not available and will not become liquid for at least one year. For further additional questions, contact us at utworkingcapital at gmail.com.